Signing the book of condolences as Mona sang revolutionary songs, Nyoma said the atmosphere reminds him of the great living of the fallen heroes and heroines of the liberation struggle. Nyoma says the history of Namibia's liberation struggle cannot be told without mentioning the heroic deeds of Nambundunga, who stood firm throughout the struggle and beyond. We are thankful to the government being led by President Hage Gengop for according a state funeral to the late Nambundunga so that Namibians are made aware of the efforts made by the late Nambundunga towards liberating this country. The founding president also commended Namibians for maintaining peace and stability, which he said cost lives and blood shed. We are indeed mourning the death of a hero, and it must be clear that Namibians like him are people who are strong-willed and always stand ready to safeguard its motherland at all costs and stand together in unity for the betterment of this country at all costs, something worth praising. The late memorial service will kick off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at Oshile village in Onesi constituency on Friday, while the burial will take place at Mgulu Gambashe Memorial Shrine.